In all type of martial art competitions, probably the most fascinating thing is a head kick. Rather than any other techniques of martial art, a head kick is the most difficult to land perfectly that can lead to a knockout. There are many things required to land a perfect head kick, speed, power, accuracy, timing. But first, you need to achieve the flexibility to kick high enough. There are many types of exercises to increase your flexibility in both modern and traditional martial arts. You have seen traditional Gong Fu practitioners practice to maintain one particular stance for a longer period of time. Some people think it's a foolish way to train yourself. Others think it is for increasing power and endurance. But some traditional stances are designed not just for power and endurance, but for increasing your flexibility also. The first stance is Shi Ping Da Ma Bu, four level horse step. Remember, the word Bu actually means step, not stance. If you are a northern Gong Fu practitioner, then you are already familiar with this stance well enough. But even if you are practicing in a different martial art, still practicing this stance can really help you with your kicks. This stance particularly increases the flexibility of your inner thigh muscles. However, I must mention here that different styles teach the same stance in many different ways. The next stance is Gongbu or Bow Step. You can see there is a bow shaped arch from head to the heel of the rear leg. Many southern styles teach this stance very short, when most of the northern styles teach it quite big and wide. The next stance is Poo Bu or Crouching Steps. As you can see, to perform this stance, you have to achieve some level of flexibility at first. Like Ma Bu and Gung Bu, this stance also has several variations. Different routines have different hand positioning while performing Poo Bu. However, we are only going to talk about different leg positioning to improve our flexibility. As I said earlier, there are many different ways to perform horse stance. Normally, while you are practicing punching, we don't sit very low. Sometimes the stance is performed with a single step, sometimes with a double step. To perform four-level horse step, first take one step to the side, maintain around two shoulder gap distance between two legs, and then sit very low. Remember to keep your spine extremely straight and keep the chest out. Both of your thighs have to be parallel to the ground. Keep breathing. Very, very deep breaths. Use your full lung capacity and focus on your breathing. That's how you will be able to control the pain. Sit as long as you can and then switch to Gungbu or Bow Step. Again, you need to sit very low. Keep your spine straight. Remember to maintain the arch shaped position from your head to the heel of the rear leg. You need to practice the stance in both sides. Remember, whenever you are taking a very low stance, it is going to be quite painful for your muscles and that is why you need to keep breathing and keep focus on the breathing. Then you are going to perform the crouching stance, Poo This stance is quite difficult, so if your body is not flexible enough, then take your time. No need to go too low. You will be able to perform it better if you keep practicing it every day. Some <coughs> If you are having trouble to maintain balance, you can either touch the ground or spread your hands in both sides to maintain your balance. Once your lower body is habituated to perform the stance, then we are going to practice two other variations of Poo In these two variations, we are going to perform the same stance but not from a horse stance but from a standing position. The purpose of Poo is to free your hamstrings 
If you are an adult and new into the martial art discipline, then give yourself more time. Don't try to hurry or you might injure your own leg. When you have confidence that you can sit really low, then you are ready for the last variation. For the last variation, you need to turn your foot vertically. Remember, I am not trying to change my positions again and again. Here I am getting into a stance and holding the position as long as I can. Over the time, with regular training, you will be able to increase the time span of being in one single stance. I made this video not for regular Gung Fu practitioners, but for those people who are new into the discipline or have been studying a different martial arts style. I must mention, never avoid your daily leg rising exercises. If you like the video, please subscribe my channel. Enjoy your training and all the best.